Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to tackle the concept of uh, series, okay? Which is a little bit different than the sequences we talked about in the last section, but they're very much related, so it builds upon that section. So if you haven't watched that section, go and watch that right now, okay? Now, the sequence, remember, is just a list of numbers, one, two, three, four, five. A series is when you add those uh, numbers up. That's basically what it is. So you may have a long sequence of numbers, and if you add them up, then you now have a series. Okay, that's basically what this section is going to be about. It's going to be about adding up uh, uh, the sequences that you have, and that's called a series. And if you uh, if you have an infinite sequence with an infinite number of numbers, and you add them all up, then you will have what you call an infinite series. And uh, believe it or not, uh, you can actually um, you can actually have an infinite series that actually adds up to an actual number. If your, if your numbers in your sequence actually go down to zero, then adding up an infinite number of them can actually work out. But that's getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Let's go ahead and dive into the basics here of what a series is. Recall, okay, we'll do a little bit of review, that a sequence is just a list of numbers like, uh, like this. You would have uh, a sub one, let's say is equal to one, a sub two is equal to four, a sub three is equal to nine, a sub 4 is equal to 16. This would be a sequence, and you would write down the general form of that sequence as a sub n is equal to n squared. Because each value of n you put in for 1, 2, 3, and 4, you get back the square of it. Okay? So, if you add up the first n, uh, and by the way, this sequence can go on down dot 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 onto infinity. If you put a bigger n in, you get a bigger uh, a sub 5, a sub 6, a sub 7, and so on. Now, here's the thing with the series, okay? Okay, if you add up, if you add up first n terms, then you get the nth partial sum. Okay, this is just a fancy mathematical wording. All it means is that if I add up the first three numbers, then I get the uh, nth partial sum, I get the, the, the third partial sum, 1 plus 4 plus 9. If I add up the first four of them, I get a different partial sum, that's the first four. If I add up the first ten of them in the sequence, then I get the, the tenth partial sum because I'm adding up the first uh, ten of them. Okay. So in general, the sum is written as S sub n, that's how many of these I'm actually adding up, and it's going to be A1 plus A2 plus a3 plus a4 plus dot 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 just exactly what I'm telling you you're adding them up all the way up to a sub n and that's just whatever wherever you stop okay and that's called a series okay so that's called a series this whole thing adding these things up is you know as many as you as you need to add up to get the nth partial sum that's called a series okay so in this case since uh, what you would say is the partial sum, the, the, uh, the first partial sum, S sub 1, okay, is just going to be equal to uh, A1, which is uh, equal to 1. You're not really adding it up to anything because it's the first partial sum. You're adding whatever number you put in here for N, you're just adding up to that point in the sequence, okay? So for the first one, you're really not adding anything. It's just the first number in the sequence, okay? Now, the second partial sum would be a1 plus a2, which would be 1 plus 4, according to our series or our sequence above, which is 5. So you'd say the, the, uh, the second, I'm sorry, I, I put this, this should be s sub 2. Uh, the second partial sum is just going to be equal to 5. And the third partial sum, likewise, is going to be a1 plus a2 plus a3. And looking back would be 1 plus 4 plus 9. And if you add all that up, you're going to get 14.